All right, as far as I'm aware, no one has ever chosen all 20 numbers in a game of Keno. And there are a lot of different versions of the game. So what we've been looking at is just New South Wales Keno, uh, which is just played well in this state. But there are different denominations of Keno played all around the world in different states, countries. Casinos have their own little private ones. Uh, but essentially, the odds don't change. Uh, some of the payouts do, depending where you are. They just want to make a bit more money. Um, but look, there are numbers being drawn and thousands of people playing this game at any one time, all day, every day. But no one's ever chosen 20 numbers. Uh, you might want to do some research to verify that. Um, but as far as I'm aware, no one's ever done it before. So how do we work out the odds of getting 20 numbers? So if I write the probability of 20 numbers from 20, we'd be asking myself, well, how many ways can I choose 20 from 20? That is, from the winners, I've got to think... How many ways could I choose my winning 20 from their winning 20? And because we've chosen all 20, there's only one combination uh, that we're talking about there. So there is one way I can choose my 20 from their 20. Now for the total number of outcomes, is simply gonna be how many ways can I choose my 20 from the total of 80? Now if you type this number in, you will find it is absolutely huge. You might even think you made a little bit of a mistake in here. Now if I press 80, choose 20, I'm going to get something of this order. So it's 3.53, all of this times 10 to the 18. So roughly speaking, it's 3 followed by, let's say, 18 zeros, if we round it all well down. So what does this number look like? In fact, what's it even called? So just remember, if a number has 6 zeros, then it's a million. If it has 9 zeros after it, then it's a billion. If it has 7, it's 10 million, and uh, to the power of 8 would be 100 million. So the power of 10 would be 10 billion, power of 11 would be 100 billion, power of 12 is a trillion. You have 10 trillion, 100 trillion, then a quadrillion uh, to the power of 15. So by the time you get to 18 zeros, you're talking about a quintillion. All right, so this is some, it's a thousand, thousand, thousand billion. Uh, I might have missed one there. But 18 zeros, this number is it's, it's so huge that you might not have even heard the word quintillion before. If you look through there, numbers do get a lot bigger, a lot, a lot, a lot bigger. Um, but what does a quintillion even mean? What does it look like? So in order for you to win 20 numbers from 20, you're talking roughly, so let's just say the probability of our event is, roughly speaking, one out of a three and a half quintillion. Absolutely ridiculous, okay? Uh, and that's why no one's ever done it before. So let's just try and put that in perspective. Now, what if I was to get a Keno ticket and say, hey, I want to line up all the different combinations. There's I walk up to the bar, to the, to the counter, and I say, look, I want to win the 20 numbers. I want to be the first person to ever do it. And I say, can you print out every single combination of 20 numbers? And if he's, I know some guy behind the bar doesn't really know a lot, and I say, yeah, sure, and just hits print. And then all of a sudden, it just, um, it gets a bit silly. So what would this look like? Let's just have a look at a Keno ticket, and let's just take an estimate as to how roughly big you think this might be. Let's just say that it's even 10 centimeters. So if one ticket is 10 centimeters long, so 10 centimeters is 0 0.1 meters, how long would be all my tickets once they were printed out together? So bear in mind, I've got to buy three and a half quintillion of these. So what I can do with this number is times it by 0 0.1. So if I times it by 0 0.1, that tells me how many meters it's going to be. Now this is such a huge number that I don't really want to deal with meters. Let's even divide by 1000 to get this number in kilometers. So 3 times 10 to the 14, how many kilometers is this? Right? Will that get you around the world? Will it get you to the moon? In fact, you'll find it's, much even, it's even much further than that and it's going to get you to... In fact, we won't go there first. In fact, how far is it to the sun? The sun's 152 million kilometers. So straight away we know that our number is much, much bigger than that, given a million is only times 10 to the 6. So we need something like times 10 to the 14. Now the only way I can sort of think to get some perspective on this is to start with a light year. Now if you travel at the speed of light, you will travel 9.4 times 10 to the 15 meters. Uh, in fact, we want this to be in kilometers. So this number is not quite a light year. So let's just change this number to our number. So instead of 9.461, I'm going to type in 3.535. So, whoops, I've just forgotten the number. It's 3535. 3.535. 
and it's times 10 to the 14. So times 10 to the 14 in kilometers is going to get us 37 light years. So if you were to write this number down, uh, sorry, if you were to print all these tickets out, let's just have a look here. So this number here is a number in kilometers of all my tickets. Once they were all printed, if you were to travel at the speed of light, it would take you 37 light years, 37 years to travel from end to end. Right, so light travels ridiculously fast. In fact, how long light travel around, let's say, the Earth? So for it to go around the Earth, it would go seven and a half times in one second. So if you're traveling at a speed such that you went around the world seven and a half times every second, right? Then you would be traveling. I've lost my calculator. Yep, I'll be traveling for 37 years in order to get from one end to the other at that speed. So, as, as, as I said, it's um, I'm not aware of anyone winning this game. You could do some research, but just based on those odds, uh, it's it's not that it will never ever happen. But if you went and put 20 numbers on, this is how ridiculously unlikely it is. Um, it's quite fascinating, actually. But yeah, it's never been done. And I'd make a statement to say that during the history of uh, people on this planet, it's not going to happen.